astonishing 1968 prophecy by 90 year old woman i want to share this with you and bring you some love i want to love on you tonight and uh, bring you some encouragement an old woman of 90 from valdrez in norway had a vision from god in 1968 the evangelist emmanuel minos had meetings services where she lived he had the opportunity to meet her and she told him what she had seen and he wrote it down, but thought it to be so unintelligible that he put it in a drawer. Now, almost 30 years later, he understands he has to share the vision with others. The woman from Valdez was a very alert, reliable, awake, and credible Christian with a good reputation among all who knew her. This is what she saw. I saw the time just before the coming of Jesus and the outbreak of the Third World War. I saw the events with my natural eyes. I saw the world like a kind of globe and saw Europe land by land. I saw Scandinavia. I saw Norway. I saw certain things that would take place just before the return of Jesus and just before the last calamity happens. A calamity, the likes of which we have never before experienced. She mentioned four waves. First, before Jesus comes and before the Third World War breaks out, there will be a detonant like we have never had before. There will be peace between the superpowers in the East and the West. And there will be a long peace. Now remember, that this was in 1968 when the Cold War was at its highest, E. Minos. In this period of peace, there will be disarmament in many countries, also in Norway, and we are not prepared when it, the war, comes. The Third World War will begin in a way no one would have anticipated and from an unexpected place. Number two. Listen carefully, please, beloved. A lukewarmness without parallel will take hold of the Christians. A falling away from true living Christianity. Christians will not be open for penetrating preaching. They will not, like in earlier times, want to hear of sin and grace, law and gospel, repentance and restoration. There will come a substitute instead prosperity happiness Christianity amen the important thing will be to have success to be something to have material things things that God never promised us in this way churches and prayer houses will be emptier and emptier instead of the preaching we have been used to for generations like to take your cross up and follow Jesus. Entertainment, art, and culture will invade the churches where there should have been gatherings for repentance and revival. This will increase markedly just before the return of Jesus. Number three, there will be a moral disintegration that old Norway has never experienced the likes of the people will live together like married without being married. I do not believe the concept co habitor existed back in 1968, e minos. Much uncleanliness before marriage and much infidelity in marriage will become the natural, the common, and it will be justified from every angle. It will even enter Christian circles and we pet it even sin against nature just before Jesus returns there will be TV programs like we have never experienced now TV had just arrived in Norway in 1968 Eminos. TV will be filled with such horrible violence but it teaches people to murder and destroy each other and it will be unsafe in our streets and people will copy what they see there will not be only one station on TV. 
It will be filled with stations. She did not know the word channel, which we use today. Therefore, she called them stations. E. Minos. TV will be just like the radio, where we have many stations, and it will be filled with violence. People will use it for entertainment. We will see terrible scenes of murder and destruction, one of the other, and this will spread in society. Sex scenes will also be shown on the screen. The most intimate things that take place in a marriage. Now, I protested and said, we have a paragraph that forbids this kind of thing. Iminos. It will happen, and you will see it. All we'll have had before will be broken down, and the most indecent things will pass before our eyes. And number four, people from poor countries will stream to Europe. Now, in 1968, there was no such a thing as immigration. E minos. They will also come to Scandinavia and Norway. There will be so many of them that people will begin to dislike them and become hard with them. They will be treated like the Jews before the Second World War. Then, the full measure of our sins will have been reached. Now, I protested at the issue of immigration. I did not understand it at the time. E minos. The tears stream down from the old woman's eyes down to her cheeks. I will not see it, but you will. Then suddenly Jesus will come. Jesus will come. And the third world war breaks out. Jesus will come in clouds of great glory for his bride. Then the third world war breaks out. It will be a short war. She saw it in a vision. All that I have seen of war before is only child's play compared to this one. And it will be ended with a nuclear atom bomb. The air will be so polluted that one cannot draw one's breath. It will cover several continents, America, Japan, Australia, and the wealthy nations. The water will be ruined, contaminated. We can no longer till the soil. The result will be that only a remnant will remain. The remnant in the wealthy countries will try to flee to the poor countries, but they will be as hard on us as we were on them. I'm so glad that I will not see it. But when the time draws near, you must take courage and tell us. I have received it from God, and nothing of it goes against what the Bible tells. The one who has his sin forgiven, and has Jesus as Savior and Lord, is safe. Hang on, he's coming. He's tarried, but he's there. He's right there, beyond the clouds. Don't let anyone discourage you or bring you down.